feel like if you really didn't hold back on getting help in your business, like if you really didn't think, I'm just going to do it myself. This week's episode 219 is all about my lessons that I've learned on I still have that issue of I'm just going to do it myself and how to solve it forever. Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 219 of my TV, my weekly video shot in your arm of literally mistakes made, lessons learned, things that are working well in our business that hopefully make your week and where you spend your time so, so much better. Last week, as you'll know, I mentioned in the video, it was our 15 my PA business birthday and it's so easy to let these things pass by. In fact, I only realised it was our birthday because my PA Bex <clears throat> sent me a WhatsApp I'd say happy my PA birthday. I was like, oh yeah, no, it is. And that very same day, I had a meeting with my business coach Martin, who you will, if you've watched my TV before, know I've mentioned him 42 million times already. And today's episode is about um, how I, how even though you think you've mastered one skill, there's still there's always room for improvement. So. Last Wednesday, on our business birthday, I had a court. We have um, a quarterly meeting every three months with Martin, and we reflect on the things we said we were going to do. I'm going to do rather, um, and where we've got to on that. And there was four things pr from the last meeting to the, to progress that are really important to my PA, are important to the changes that we want that we need to make in the business this year to get to the next level. And out of the four things that we had, three of them were started, not finished. Now I know immediately going to go, okay, well. You're, you know, that's the same as me. We love starting things. We love shiny new things as business owners. We love, we love getting stuck in, but we're rubbish at finishing them. And you're not getting away with anything with Martin. And he really drilled down to say, okay, so what do you think is happening here? Why, why are they not, you know, you know that this is needle moving stuff in your business. Why is it not finished? And I am super aware that I have got a chip on my shoulder. Maybe that's the right phrase, but I've got a chip on my shoulder that when it comes to some things in my business still, I think I am. I'm going to execute it better than anyone else. Anyone in my business, outside of my business, anyone. Like this is not specific on my team, just anyone. And the reason I'm doing a my TV on this today is because I realised that even though back 15 years ago when it was just me, and now in 2023 there's 37 people. So we have to agree that over that period of time, I have learned to delegate. You know, there's been an element of giving stuff up, passing stuff over because you don't grow a team, they don't take things off you, they don't operate without you over their shoulder without delegation. So you know. Know, I would think that Emma, owner of Virtual PA Business, is queen of delegation. But what I realised is, and and you know, as you go through your business life, as you level up, as you're either, it doesn't just mean that the business gets bigger, but as your business progresses, you you get you hit a new level of problems each time, and so your your ability to do stuff improves. But there's always then a next level you need to tackle. So you know, you might get so in the, in the beginning, back in the day, I delegated my uh, client work to other members of the team. So they started doing that. But then I still kept my inbox and my calendar because I thought only I could do that. And then in 2016, I realized that was stupid and I delegated my inbox and my calendar to my PA. And then it was like, well, there's only me that can deal with the financial stuff, everything in there. And then it's like, okay, that's stupid. So then the next level is, well, actually now I do understand I can create processes, tasks, I can trust another member of the team to make decisions, to do things as I would do them. Like each time you do a bit and you realize there's more to go. And I realized last Wednesday that there is still way more to go for me so there is uh, one particular project which is how we assign and delegate work inside my PA uh, and we use Asana for every, like Asana is our lifeblood in my PA and the way we use it is about to change drastically now this one this one project which is a big chunky project I know is critical to making life easier inside my PA and less stressful and to serving our clients better and it was on my list of how we were going to do it and I can honestly say I had done absolutely nothing with it so when it came to last Wednesday is like, where's this up to? Done nothing, why? And as stupid as this may sound, and today's my TV is because I hope this resonates with some of you in that you may be doing the same thing and holding yourself back just as I have been doing. So there's this one particular task to, to learn how to utilize Asana in a different way, to start delegating work very, very differently to how we've ever delegated it before internally. And I still had in my mind that even though I wasn't finding the time to do it and blocking it in my calendar, even though I hadn't made any 
progress on it, I could still do it better than anyone else. And that's in my business, outside of my business, better than Martin. Like I have this chip on my shoulder that with some, so now I'm at like the next level of project, more complicated, more intricate. So it's just, it's part of my ladder of delegation, of moving from client work to inbox, to invoice chasing, to, to process creation. I'm at this next level now, which was, pretty much business changing stuff. I thought that only I could do it, but the complete irony is that I wasn't bloody doing it. I wasn't creating time for it. I wasn't even starting it. And so when Martin really challenged me on it, I said, yeah, I I feel like, I know it's really stupid, but there are some things still that crop up and I think, that's an Emma job that only I can do that. And the reality is that I was completely, completely deluded. And the next day I had a meeting with my ops manager Matt and I, and this is one thing that business owners don't say. They don't say I need help because you're, because for the last 15 years I've worn every single hat in my business, even the hat of, you know, cleaning up, putting out the bins, you know, like you, it, there is no hat that you don't wear. So you, you constantly, you back yourself, you constantly think, oh yeah, I can do it. And the next day I said to Matt, I, I need like, I need help. So, and I explained to him, and he's already aware of this, it's just it wasn't on his radar to, to help and support with. And he was like, yeah, okay, no, you, and, and the really ironic thing is, as soon as I explained to Matt where we're at, what we're trying to get with it, he was like, Oh no, he went, I love this. I love this kind of stuff. I am like, this is definitely my kind of project. Number one, the relief is like, really? Like, you know, it's such an amazing feeling. So where I'm going with this story is, so the next day I said to Matt, okay, this is where we're at. And um, we really need to get this implemented. I was already meant to do this a couple of months ago. We need to understand Asana better. And I swear to God, within a couple of days, Matt came back to me. He'd consumed everything he needed to. He had a new process flow of how we would do stuff. He was directing the team leaders and team members in there of things they needed to do to help us roll out this project. And a week later, he was having a meeting with the team leaders to instruct them and to update them on how we were gonna run Asana going forwards, all this stuff we weren't utilizing, which were features in there. And like Matt had it on lockdown, so Matt, Thank you very much for your help in the past week. Like it has completely elevated one of the things off my list. And I realized I was completely guilty of the one thing I've said on my TV so many times, which is, I'll do that, it's, it's quicker, or I'll do that, I can do it better because it's completely poor man's thinking. And within one week, we have made more progress on a particular project than we have in the past three months now. That is a complete epic fail from me. Like I hope that this episode compels you to think about what are the things that you are not moving forwards in your business? Why are they staying on your to-do list? Because as Martin digs at me, digs at me every single week and says there is a reason why something is not moving forward. So it is either, it's not actual priority. You have fear about getting it done, which I will definitely say I had about this particular project because getting stuck right into Asana is not filling me with joy to get done. So I'm putting it off, I'm putting it to the back, I'm doing something else as a short-term pleasure win to avoid doing this project. So fear is often a, a big thing for it. And three is skill set, like maybe it's just not your skill set. For me, when I ask the question and ask for help, and it might be that you don't have an ops manager. This this is not just about the, the, the having like team leaders, ops managers, who's gonna do it. You might be working on your own, but I can guarantee there are people in your life that you can ask for help, whether it's friends, family, other business owners that you know if you go to networking group, groups that you hang around in, posting online on social media on particular this particular topic or something you don't know, like people fundamentally do want to help. And the biggest thing that I learned in the past week is the more you ask for help, the more comes back. Like you you can't not give people the opportunity to help because if they don't know, they don't know. And I just hope today's my TV really helps you think about just if you just take five minutes to think about the things that are on your list that haven't moved forward you know we're two months into the year like time is flying already and the stuff that you thought about in January why is it not moving forward so you either need to this week plan in the time or get the help that you need because ultimately it's got to be one of those two you're either not planning the time, not making it a priority, not getting it done for various reasons. Or two, you just, you do need somebody to move it forward. And that has been an absolute game changer for me in the past week. So I've gained more time back. We've made quicker progress in a week than we had when I was deliberating, cogitating and having the stupid mindset of it is quicker to do it myself. So I hope this week's episode 219 helps you to get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds because most often the dirt is 
lack of getting help, you're stuck and you, you don't delegate to your team. So whether you're using a VA, you have an employee, you have team members, just asking, I've got this issue, do you think you can help with that? Is, so, is that something you've done before? Giving people the opportunity and the chance to help can be the difference between you feeling totally stressed and bogged down with your to-do list or totally liberated and moving forward. And I'll see you next week for episode 220. See you then, bye-bye.